Welcome back to Logic Unlocked. Today we're tackling one of the most intriguing equations you'll ever encounter. x to the power of x equals 10. At first glance, this looks impossible to solve algebraically. But today, I'm going to show you not only can we solve it, but there are actually multiple fascinating approaches to find the answer. By the end of this video, you'll understand the Lambert W function, see some beautiful numerical methods in action, and discover why this equation connects to some of the deepest ideas in mathematics. Welcome to Logic Unlocked. Let's begin by taking a closer look at the function at the heart of our problem. f of x equals x to the power of x. This function is pretty unusual. Unlike a typical polynomial or even an exponential function, here the variable x appears both as the base and as the exponent. That makes its behavior much more interesting and, as we'll see, a bit trickier to analyze. First, we need to be careful about the domain. For real solutions, we need x to be positive. Since we can't easily define something like negative 2 to the power of negative 2 in the real numbers. If we graph y equals x to the x for positive values of x, we get a striking curve. You'll notice it dips down to a minimum near x equals 0 0.37 and then shoots upward very quickly as x increases. The question is, where does this curve intersect with the horizontal line when equals 10? Visually, we can see there is exactly one point of intersection, meaning one real solution. Let's see why our usual algebraic tricks don't work here. We might try taking the logarithm of both sides. Using logarithm properties, this becomes x times log of x equals log of 10, which is approximately x times log of x equals 2.3026. But now we're stuck. We have x multiplied by log of x, and there's no elementary way to isolate x from this equation. This is what mathematicians call a transcendental equation, one that can't be solved using basic algebraic operations. This is where the Lambert W function comes in to save the day. The Lambert W function is actually defined as the inverse of the function f of x equals x times e to the x. So if you have y equals x times e to the x, then x equals w of y. Visually, the graph of y equals x times e to the x, the function that the Lambert W function inverts, looks like this. Now let's see how the Lambert W function actually helps us solve x to the x equals 10. We start by taking the natural logarithm of both sides of the equation. This gives us x times the natural logarithm of x equals the natural logarithm of 10. Now comes the clever part. We massage this into the right form. Let's substitute u equals the natural logarithm of x, so x equals e to the power of u. Our equation becomes e to the power of u times u equals the natural logarithm of 10. This is exactly the kind of equation, the formy times e to the power of y equals z, that the Lambert W function is designed to solve. Therefore, u equals the Lambert W of the natural logarithm of 10. And since x is e to the power of u, our solution is x equals e to the power of the Lambert W of the natural logarithm of 10. Now we need to calculate the Lambert W of 2.3026. The Lambert W function doesn't have a simple closed form expression, but we can approximate its value using iterative methods. One approach is to use Newton's method on the equation f of w equals w times e to the power of w minus 2.3026 equals 0. The derivative is f prime of w equals e to the power of w times 1 plus w. Starting with an initial guess of w naught equals 1, Newton's method gives us the next approximation using this formula. Let's watch how quickly it converges. After a few iterations, we find that the Lambert w of 2.3026 is approximately 0 0.919. Therefore, x equals e to the power of 0 0.919, which is about 2.506. Let's verify our answer. We need to check if 2.506 to the power of 2.506 equals 10. 2.506 to the power of 2.506 is e to the power of 2.506 times the natural logarithm of 2.506. This is approximately e to the power of 2.506 times 0 0.9187, which gives it to the power of 2.3026, or almost exactly 10. Excellent. Graphically, this means our solution is where the curve y equals x to the power of x intersects the line y equals 10, right at the point 2.50610. Here's where things get really interesting. In the complex numbers, our equation might have other solutions. The Lambert W function has a principal branch, 
called w naught, and infinitely many other branches. Each branch could give us a different solution. The principal branch, w naught, gives us the real solution we already found. X is approximately 2.506. Using another branch called w1, we find a complex value for the function. This leads to a complex solution for X, approximately 2.10 minus 7.580. We can verify that this complex number to the power of itself indeed equals 10, but the calculation involves complex logarithms and exponentials. These solutions can be visualized as points on the complex plane. Let's also look at how we could solve this purely numerically without knowing about the Lambert W function. The bisection method is simple and reliable. Since f of 2 equals 4 and f of 3 equals 27, we know our solution lies between 2 and 3. We keep having the interval, narrowing it down step by step until we converge on the answer. Newton's method is faster. For f of x equals x to the power of x minus 10, we need the derivative and an initial guess. Starting with x naught equals 2.5, we iterate. Both methods converge to x is approximately 2.506, confirming our Lambert W solution. Equations of the form x to the power of x equals k show up in many areas. In computer science, they're connected to algorithm complexity. In physics, they appear in topics like statistical mechanics and quantum field theory. We can generalize this to solve x to the power of x equals k for any positive k. The method stays the same. x equals e to the power of the Lambert w of the natural logarithm of k. As k changes, we can see how the solution x changes. And here on the graph is our specific solution, where k equals 10 corresponds to x is approximately 2.506. This is also related to a famous problem in calculus, which shows that the function y equals x to the power of 1 over x has its maximum value at x equals e. So, can we solve x to the power of x equals 10? Absolutely. We found that x is approximately 2.506 using the Lambert W function and we verified this both analytically and numerically. The key insights are that transcendental equations often require special functions. The Lambert W function is the key tool for this problem. Multiple solution methods can confirm our answer, and that complex solutions also exist. This equation beautifully demonstrates how mathematics develops new tools to solve problems that initially seem impossible. If you enjoyed this exploration, be sure to subscribe for more math adventures. See you next time.